So the last piece I want to talk about for resources is intellectual property. And there are great law firms who can give you tutorials. There's plenty of stuff on the web. But the types of intellectual property, shorthand IP, you want to think about are these. There are five. One is trademark. And trademark means what can you protect is branding, like the Nike swoosh. And the examples could be marks or logos or slogans. Other type of intellectual property could be copyright. An example is creative or authored works and expressions. You can't copyright ideas, but you can copyright software or songs or movies or website content. The other one is trade secrets. Well, I don't want to patent this because somebody's going to read the patent, they'll figure it out. So you might decide that you're going to protect it in a vault. Just like the Coca-Cola recipe is supposedly kept in a vault in Atlanta, and it's non-public technology. Also, your customer lists might kind of fit in this uh, category, or some secret formulas necessary for a final element in your product. Two things that startups run into all the time are contracts or NDAs, which stands for non-disclosure agreements. You know, what's protectable is in the contract, that is, you specify it or, or somebody making you sign it or offering you a contract or an NDA specifies it. And examples are technology and business information. Now, by the way, before we go forward, this is one point I want to mention. Founders sometimes naively believe that they could protect their technology from uh, investors or potential investors by making investors sign a non-disclosure agreement. That just doesn't happen, and it's a naive view of how to protect your technology. My suggestion is, by the way, don't put your source code, your firmware, or, or your deep insight in the first presentation because you're never uh, going to have somebody push a bag of money at you across the table over a series of PowerPoint slides. In fact, if an investor is interested and you're now in meeting two, three, or four, and they say, listen, for us to really proceed, we need to have you open the hood and let us or a consultant take a look, the next question to ask is, well, if we do that and it meets these following criteria, is there an investment or not? And if the answer is yes, then you can make them or at least require an NDA uh, because they've gone down the path of interest with you and are serious. The last piece of intellectual property is patent. U.S. patent law has changed in some important ways in the last year. Uh, if you were familiar with it, it's nice to get updated again. What's protectable are inventions. Uh, and typical examples are new technology. You've invented something new, some hardware or algorithm or software, etc. Getting a patent is kind of important. 